Although the name would suggest that massively multiplayer online role-playing games, MMORPGs, are similar to role-playing games, they are different on so many levels. Working with other players to achieve goals by combat and trading, and being able to work on talents such as fishing and blacksmithing is what makes MMORPGs special. In this video I prepared the list of the 10 best MMORPG of all time. Let's get started. New World MMORPGs love to explore the fantasy genre, and New World is no exception. It takes place on a fantastical island called Aeternum, where you, an explorer during the 17th century, discover new resources, mystical powers, and other players to befriend or behead. New World was one of those games to suffer from having too many players at launch, causing its servers to buckle under the weight. However, it has recovered since then and become a well-enjoyed title for many. It was nominate for the Best Multiplayer Game by the Game Awards and the Best Original Soundtrack, Video Game, in the Hollywood Music and Media Awards. The year it came out, 2021, it was also one of the top played games on Steam. Planet Side 2 while different from the traditional MMORPG formula, Planetside 2 was nevertheless an MMO in spirit, with a different game mechanic as its core focus. The objective of the game was to participate in a massive-scale war for dominance across the planet Oraxis. The game holds the Guinness World Record for most players competing in a single battle, an astonishing 1158, to be exact. Nothing quite matches the sheer scale of Planetside 2, and although its glory days are behind it, it's still an MMO title with a lot to boast about. Got extra ammunition here. Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn Final Fantasy XIV isn't your typical Final Fantasy game. As a world-renowned role-playing game series, the transition to becoming an MMORPG was more difficult than Square Enix predicted. At launch, the game was a colossal failure. Later, Square Enix would re-release the game as Final Fantasy XIV Realm Reborn. After a long start, you dive into the action of Final Fantasy XIV, soon finding that completing quests in the Final Fantasy XIV Realm is surprisingly fun. A wide variety of player classes and a large map are reasons to pick up Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn. Elder Scrolls Online Unlike the Elder Scrolls RPG games that were developed by Bethesda Softworks, Elder Scrolls Online's developer is Zenimix Online Studios. So that's... Despite being a company who doesn't usually develop Elder Scrolls games, Zenimix Online did an excellent job at creating one of the best MMORPGs of all time. <laughs> Amazingly, they kept the game true to the Elder Scrolls series without making it a basic, typical MMORPG. It is recommended to play this game on PC, but the console versions are also excellent. Playing through dungeons was repetitive at launch, but an abundance of new content makes Elder Scrolls Online excel as an MMORPG. RuneScape For a free-to-play MMORPG that released all the way back in 2001, RuneScape has somehow managed to remain popular all these years. RuneScape still has at least 50,000 players playing the game at any given time. In this title, players perform typical MMORPG tasks such as fishing, mining, blacksmithing, and battling with enemies. The PvP area in the wilderness is a true test of a player's RuneScape prowess. A new version of RuneScape known as RuneScape 3 Inches released in 2013. Though there are new versions, old-school RuneScape remains as the most popular version. Graphically, old-school RuneScape is not very impressive, but the gameplay is fun, and that's what has made the difference. I swear. 
Star Wars The Old Republic. I'm innocent. You were smuggling... As a game with the third highest budget of any video game ever made. Star Wars The Old Republic does a great job of keeping its RPG elements deep and enjoyable, and does it on a massive scale. Choosing to be a lightsaber wielder or commando, players embark on a journey with a unique story for each character class. No, it wasn't the sequel to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2 The Sith Lords that people had hoped for, but it remains relevant in today's MMORPG world. Star Wars The Old Republic is an excellent MMORPG that does an excellent job of telling an engaging Star Wars story. EVE Online The great thing about playing EVE Online right now is that the game has received numerous updates since its launch. As a result of the changes the game received, many players and critics have changed their minds about the title for the better. Quite a few developers have attempted to create enjoyable outer space-themed MMORPGs. Where most games have failed, EVE Online seems to work. The combat of the game may not be as good as Star Wars Galaxies, a 2003 outer space MMORPG, now sans servers, but it has much more content to keep players engaged. Terra. This South Korean MMO has been running almost a decade, and shows no signs of slowing down. Terra is a fantasy MMO with a focus on immersive combat mechanics, as opposed to more popular titles like World of Warcraft. The game is popular among its 28 million plus players for having a most robust character creation system, a more accessible style of play, and plenty of fancy armors and weapons to get their hands on. Terra had typical MMORPG features such as questing, crafting, and player versus player action. The game's combat used a real-time battle system that incorporated third-person camera view. The player targeted an enemy with a crosshair cursor rather than clicking or tabbing an individual opponent, which was called the non-target battle system by the developer. The players needed to actively dodge enemy attacks. A keyboard and mouse or a control pad could be used to control the character. Black Desert Online Another Korean MMO with a lot going for it, Black Desert Online came seemingly out of nowhere and upended its competitors with a very distinct combat system, excellent graphics, and an engaging storyline. Black Desert Online sports one of the most diverse character creation systems of any MMO game, a major plus for gamers who don't want to look like they rolled off the assembly line. There's a ton of classes to choose from, a boatload of esteemed titles and accomplishments to obtain, and yes, pets. A very good pet system. The combat in Black Desert Online is action-based, requiring manual aiming and free movement similar to those found in third-person shooters. The game offers housing, fishing, farming, and trading, as well as large player versus player siege events and castle battles. It is well regarded for its advanced and in-depth character customization. World of Warcraft The king of MMORPGs is undoubtedly World of Warcraft. It shook the video game market to its core when it released in 2004, peaking at 12 million players in 2010. The amount of content and player variety makes it among the leading MMORPGs and best games of all time. In World of Warcraft, players can choose to fight for the Horde or Alliance factions. Pandarins a race from the mists of Pandaria expansion, have the advantage of being able to choose, while other races are locked to a particular faction. Engaging quests, a dynamic leveling system, tons of loot and gear, being able to make friends. All of this makes World of Warcraft the best and most enduring MMORPG ever made, period. Thanks for watching this video, hope you like it and find something new to play.
Get more update about games by click subscribe, and your thumbs up mean a lot to me, so please guys, just like this video. Thank you very much, I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, well I guess you could see it that way.